Hey everybody, hope you're good. My name is Abby if you're new around here and if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So in today's video, I will be reviewing sunscreen from Vichy as part of my sunscreen and uh, demo, <laughs> as part of my sunscreen demo and review series. So this big boy is what I will be reviewing. So it's a body sunscreen and it's called the Capital Soleil SPF 30 Fresh Protective Milk Face and Body Hydrating and it is 300 ml of product if you were wondering it has a couple of claims on here already so i don't even think i'll need to refer to the website um i got this for so i think i got this for 90 or oh, actually i didn't i didn't pay 19 pounds for it i think i got it for like i don't know 14 pounds 13 pounds something thereabouts because i never pay full price and neither should you but if you were to pay 19 pounds for this this would be still an amazing affordable product because look at the size of this thing next to my head and I've got a big head <laughs> so it's massive it will last you a lifetime you'll be able to pass this on to your kids um actually don't do that but anywho I like this sunscreen but um I think I don't know what happened I feel like because I haven't used it in a while I kind of almost forgot what it was like I did have to use it recently and I don't remember it being uh the way it feels on my skin i'll get to that in a minute but first of all i'll just read off the claim again it says it's a hydrating sunscreen and it is broad spectrum it has the uvb and the uva uh sign on the packaging it says it's high protection, it's water resistant. As far as I know, all Vichy products contain their Vichy thermal water. Um, it actually says at the bottom here, um, Vichy min mineralizing water, so it definitely contains that. So this product right off the bat, I will tell you, is fragranced. It does have a strong fragrance. They do do both fragrance and fragrance-free products. It's sold as a face and body sunscreen and it can be used, but not by all. Um, before that, I'm just going to read off the back. So it does say it contains the Mixoral registered XL plus mineral filter. It does contain titanium dioxide, nano. So it just means that it's been really finely ground. So it's supposed to disperse upon application. So it's not supposed to be visible to the naked eye. So it is a hybrid sunscreen and uh, says it's for sensitive skin, hypoallergenic, and it also has warnings about keeping babies out of the sun um, and not exposing your skin to the sun for too long. You should also reapply frequently and generously to maintain protection, especially after swimming, perspiring or toweling. And it says to avoid the eye area. Oh, I forgot to mention. So with this uh, Vichy sunscreen, this does irritate, not necessarily when I apply it to my uh, face, but if I get it in my eyes, like after like, I don't know, scratching my eyes or, you know, just rubbing my eyes for a bit, it does irritate a little. It's not the worst one I've felt, but I wouldn't put this around my eyes. I, I forgot to say that in my previous video um, for another Vichy sunscreen. Um, but yeah, in terms of my eyes, I wouldn't put this around my eyes, but it's good for the rest of the face. I have a a ton of um, sunscreens that you can use in your eyes check out one of my videos um not too long ago i did a short video on good sunscreens that you can use around your eyes and there's you know a few options there so i'm not too bothered about that um, i've already mentioned you get 300 ml slash 286 grams in terms of how it applies though so i think when i used to use this i don't know maybe because i used it in a certain way i didn't necessarily see too much of a cost so if you came here to find out whether or not this gives you a cost it does but i think if you are you know light skin lighter skin than i am you might be able to get away with it than what i was able to do so i just i I don't know what it is i feel like when i first tried this um it wasn't as bad or maybe has my skin darkened has my skin tanned i don't know but um i i was a bit surprised i'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand and show you what i mean and i know that it was, it's probably the titanium dioxide that's in here because again if that 
has been applied in a certain way you hopefully shouldn't be able to see you shouldn't be able to see it once you rubbed it in well enough and if you give it time as well sometimes I do find when I rub my sunscreens in within a few minutes of rubbing it in and leaving it alone to settle it actually isn't visible if it was slightly visible previously so with the small amount that I applied next to my skin there's hardly any difference and in terms of what I can see to the naked eye, if anything, my hand, this hand that I didn't apply anything to, just looks a bit more yellow toned. And this looks slightly, ever so slightly more cool toned, but I don't even think you can see that on camera. But in terms of what I can see, and that's like nothing to me in terms of, because I know my skin. So if you were to see this, you wouldn't think there was anything on my skin. I think you wouldn't think there was a white cast. But when I applied it to my face, um, in the film, you know, in my pre-recording, you could see that there was a, you know, a cast. So I'm going to apply a little bit here because I'm curious. I feel like, did I apply too much? Because I've played with this and I've, and I feel like I keep coming up with the same, the same conclusion that it does give you a white cast if you apply enough. But on a day when I'm going to apply foundation, I don't think that matters as much. So I'm just gonna apply it live. And I don't normally do this because I've already pre-recorded myself applying it. But I feel like when I left it, after I, after I stopped filming, I left it um, just to see if it would absorb. And it did for the most part. There was still a slight tinge of a white cast. If you rub it in, I might have used too much in my recording because the more you use the more obvious the white cast becomes I'm just trying to apply a thin layer and obviously because I've applied a thin layer you probably won't even see it as much if I was to go in and with this thin layer I don't think this will be enough you'd need to apply it again so I think eventually the white cast will show but it does apply nicely it's just that slight tinge which is why i say i don't mind using it on my face on a day when i'm going to use makeup it's not actually going to be a problem and it's not greasy as well it applies really well because the formula is quite like it's slightly it's not thick it's not thin it's kind of in the middle but it blends out really well it's not sticky and again like i mentioned it has that vichy fragrance to it so can you see there's a slight cast so i wouldn't take this down to my neck um next time before i think i used to because i was at home and i didn't mind or because i knew i was going to apply makeup but if you are of my skin tone you definitely start to see some of that white cast unless you apply like a light layer of powder or something then you'll be fine so again it depends on whether or not you want to put a little bit of makeup um, or if you are lighter than me, but if you're my skin tone or darker, you're definitely going to see something, especially if you apply the correct amount, because bearing in mind, I've only applied a small amount right now, and that's not enough in terms of what you're supposed to apply. Funny thing as well, to the naked eye, the small amount that I applied is almost not obvious to the half of my face, but because I didn't apply it to my whole face, I have something to compare to. If I was to apply it to my face, I might be able to convince myself that there wasn't actually a white cast, but there is a slight, there is a slight white cast. But you can see it went in and uh, really well, and my face actually isn't greasy for something that's supposed to be hydrating. So it's hydrating, but it's not greasy. So I definitely say for this big old tube you can still buy it for your face because you're, you're i don't think you're ever going to get anything as high value as in as um as value for money for this but just be careful if you are again um gonna bring it down to your neck and if you're gonna apply it to the rest of your body i think it should be fine to an extent but maybe if you apply a certain amount actually no scrap that I wouldn't, I don't know if I would apply it. I think it's definitely up for debate in terms of whether or not you should apply it to your body because I'm less bothered about having a slight white cast on my body, especially especially if I'm going to apply it all over. Nobody would know the difference but on my face if I'm not wearing any makeup compared to the rest of my body. It might be a bit more obvious. I don't know. I think it definitely is worth buying because 
of um, the formula, the level of protection, and if you um, are going to wear a slight bit of makeup or if you don't mind the slight tint, then it should be fine for you. I feel like if you didn't have anything to compare to, I don't know if the white cast would even be obvious enough. Um, again, bear in mind that this is on camera, so to the naked eye, I almost can't see anything. My face just looks <laughs> like my face, but if you apply the amount that I applied on the pre-recording, you would definitely be able to see something. So I'd definitely say you would need makeup to cover that, and which I normally do, so I'm not bothered. Um, and I would just use something else on my neck and the rest of my body. But if you bought this for it to be used on your body and your my skin tone, you might be a bit disappointed. Uh, yeah, I'd definitely say that, but it's such a good formula. I just wish they'd maybe formul formulated it in a way where the titanium dioxide it does contain was maybe, maybe there was less of it, I don't know. Yeah, so for the amount, I would have loved to recommend this like wholeheartedly, but I uh, I would recommend it with a slight asterisk, which is that try it at your own discretion and see if you can make it work because the formula is nice. It's just a slight white cast. So if you can cover it with makeup, you're fine. If you bought it to only use it on your face like I did and it's not greasy. And I would use it on my body because like I said, by the time I've applied it all over my body, I don't think it will be obvious. And if you leave it over time as well, your face, like, your, your, you will adjust and it will adjust. And it won't be too, and it won't be too obvious at all. So, yeah, um, I definitely say it's worth trying, especially for the rest of your body, even if you're not comfortable using it on your face, if you don't plan to wear makeup. That, so hopefully that makes sense. But again, the same warnings apply which is that try to avoid the sun if you can um at certain times of the day again i think typically between 10 and 2 11 3 somewhere thereabouts uh just remember that the spf factor that you get on your sunscreen speaks to the the spf factor speaks to the burning and you need to see that uva uvb signage on here to know that it also protects you against uva rays and uva is more long term UVB is burning, obviously, and if you burn, you can see that immediately. UVA does more damage, it's more long term, and yeah, you just don't see it causing the damage it does until later on down the line. So, UVA actually does damage your DNA, so it goes down further into deeper layers of the skin. Something that's meant to be for face and body, I probably say I would still use it for that, but with my face, I would have to know that I'm going to apply something. And on my body, it would be fine because I don't think it would be too obvious once I've applied it and I like the formula. So I wouldn't openly recommend it for everybody. You might be sorely disappointed. Um, the price is great because for £19, you get a, a big tube. So um, I don't want to ramble too much. But yeah, um, I kind of recommend it depending on what you're willing to tolerate. How about that? So yeah, um, that's my review on this. I will still continue to use this because I do like it. Just have to be, I mean, I wouldn't go out and not wear makeup with this. That's really all it is. Um, unless I don't care on the day. Uh, what else? Yes, and obviously I already mentioned that you shouldn't apply it around your eyes because I think it did irritate me. Yes, it does irritate sometimes if it gets in your eyes. Especially if you're one of those people who can't keep your hands out of your eyes. Um, avoid the eye area. It doesn't irritate the skin. On application it's just if it gets into your eyes if you've tried this it'll be really good to hear from you and know what you thought of the formulation and if you have any recommendations on what to try next to add to my rotation please do also leave that in the comment section so if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button that really does help my channel out and gets my videos promoted a little bit more by the youtube algorithms and if you want to see more from me please do subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss when i next upload until next time stay blessed have a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are and i will catch you in my next video so yeah so that will do it until next time catch you later bye Thank you.